Let me take you back to 2019. You start the Senior Learning Institute. For those who don't know, what is it? And then why did you form it in the first place? The Senior Learning Institute formed out of seminars that I started to do for two municipalities in the St. Louis metropolitan area. And we started providing live seminars at the municipal location, City Hall, Rec Center, I something think of along Chesterfield. those lines. So Chesterfield is one, Sunset Hills is the other. And what's wonderful is the partnership that we have is that the municipalities are supporting it. They're putting it in their parks and rec guides. They're putting it on their websites. They're sending out emails. They're inviting people because they're concerned about their their residents. They want and to they do that them. because you. You help them. Well, we helped them, and one of the things we needed to make sure that we assured them was that it wasn't going to be a sales pitch, because that's very easy to fall into. So it's not a sales pitch. The only time that any of the panelists who are on there, and these panelists are vetted, um, will say who they are, where they're from, and that's about it. The rest of it is real information. So one has the ability of going to the live events at the municipal location, and we do eight of them a year. But then I needed to find a better way to communicate because we, we, we looked at this during during the pandemic, and we found that a lot of people weren't coming anymore. So I put it under the umbrella of the Senior Learning Institute. And the whole idea of the Senior Learning Institute, it kind of acts like a nonprofit, but it's not. Mm -hmm. But there's 24-7 access at the seniorlearninginstitute.com. There's the shameless plug. but. But it, I've gone on there, Ted, and it, there's just a wealth of information. It's all designed to provide information to uh, older adults and their families who need um, resources, who want to get a feel for things. I'm always available to have a conversation and to personally refer, but that's a good pl first place to start. We also then, in order to spread the word, we uh, developed what we call educational partners, sponsors of sorts, some big companies in town and some small companies in town that have supported the effort to get the word out, and it also is a way for them to, to market their businesses as well because there's links on the website. So it's it works really, really well, and we're looking to add maybe one other municipality, and we're constantly reinventing uh, the, the content of these seminars so that they don't get stale, but we want to make sure that people have access both uh, live as well as online.